So you're probably wondering, what in the world am I doing right now? Well, I'm currently at Michael's at their little Copic marker thing, and it's actually behind the desk. So the thing is, I don't have any pastel colors. I don't have any pastel Copic markers, like no pinks, and I needed a prompt. So I got that Disney emoji thing. There's my prompt. <laughs> so I've, these are the, the new Copic markers that I picked out, excluding the E000 and the B05, just because I was running out on those two Copic markers. So get rid of those. And these are the pastel markers that I chose. I don't think I've ever done any pieces of artwork with just using pastel colors. I mean, I did that paper doll challenge and all the parrots kind of looked pastel y, but I still did darker colors with them. So I made this uh, challenge to myself to only use pastel colors to use on this particular piece. So, no shading with any darker colors, just shade with my fellow pastel colors. And here is what was inside my little emoji bag. So this is my drawing prompt. I have to make a pastel piece with this cute mini. So we're gonna make something with Minnie Mouse, yay! So I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but Minnie Mouse has become an ultimate fashion icon. Like, she is seriously fashionable now. <laughs> so when I was making Minnie Mouse, I wanted to keep kind of the same face that the, the little Disney emoji had, but I wanted to make her more of like, um, not exactly herself, but I wanted to make the body kind of match her head. So this is a little bit of a, a skinnier head to me, so I made her body a little bit more fitting for her dress. I didn't want to get too crazy with her dress just because this is the first time I've ever used such light colors together. So I just made a cute little flower dress. She looks very springy or summery, but most of these colors are mostly springy. What I really enjoy about using these pastel colors is they're all somewhat complementary to each other, especially the ones that I picked out. So I've got like I'm using my wisteria marker the light purple on the pink to shade it I can't believe it I didn't have any pink Copic markers when I first got my actual package of 72 Copic markers when I first started out I just bought the big bulky 72 pack uh, don't ask me which one it had all the primary colors whichever one that is so when I bought that it didn't have any good solid pinks in it so I had to actually use like all my other previous pieces of pink have all been peached and never pink so oh I had to go to Michael's to pick out a pink Copic marker because I haven't had any pink Copic markers <laughs> But it was nice to actually go to Michael's and actually just stand in front of the case. Usually I can't really, like, at Hobby Lobby, they're in a case. And I'm always like, I want to test these out because chances are I'm going to actually buy them. <laughs> but um, it's just really, I, I love the colors that I chose for this pastel piece because they all complemented each other well. I could shade with them and it still kept that really nice and cool springy feel to it and it was just a lot of fun if you haven't worked with pastel pieces yet or if you haven't made a pastel piece with just Copic markers or just using regular pencils then I highly suggest that you do I can't believe I'm drawing a springy piece during summer <laughs> and we're almost at the end of summer we're so close we're so close to getting a relief from this hot weather I don't know about you guys but the Sun has been beating down on North Carolina it is unbearable some days I don't even want to leave my room it's you just you walk outside and you start sweating immediately Let's talk about the inking process that I'm using I didn't want to really give Minnie any black parts. I wanted her to stay her pastel color and I didn't really want to ruin, give like a heavy outline to her actual character. I wanted to do it like sparingly with the inking and the lining and I'm really happy with that choice because um, the only heavy outlining that I did do was right here where I outlined the entire thing together with some thick, with a thick one. Um, micron pen so I'm happy with the way this turned out it was a lot of fun leave it in the comments down below are you surviving through this hot weather are you ready for this weather to be over with I am so ready for fall I'm more of a I'm a fall baby so 
I thrive in the fall season. <laughs> Plus my wardrobe looks so much better in the fall season. <laughs> but yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all later. Bye!